You are watching Cold Fusion TV. Looking at the big picture of technology, smartphones are so new and have grown so fast that much of the general public hasn't really taken note of what's going on around them. These are the top five mind-blowing facts about your smartphone. Let's dive in. Number five. NASA used them as cheap satellites. The smartphone industry has pushed the boundaries of low-cost, high-performance solutions so far that the average smartphone has more computing power and memory than the average satellite. In addition to this, smartphones already have a GPS, multiple accelerometers, motion sensors, radio receivers, and more for well under $1,000. NASA noticed this unique anomaly in modern technology, and in 2009, they created Project PhoneSat. This project is an ongoing experiment that uses smartphones as a satellite's onboard computer. There have been multiple versions launched as newer phones are released. The orbital lifespan is said to be one year. It's pretty cool. Number four. Smartphones are the fastest growing industry in history. And today, the industry is worth over $300 billion. To really understand just how big that is, we have to compare it to the next closest thing humanity has seen, the PC market. Compared to the PC market, the smartphone industry has been growing at a rate of four times the maximum rate of PC growth. In January 2014, for the first time in history, mobile phone internet usage overtook PC internet usage. And that's not all. In the period between 1975 and June 2008, 1 billion PCs were sold. This includes desktops, laptops, servers, and everything combined. In comparison, smartphone sales topped 1 billion in just 2013 alone. The sales have been so rapid that even on YouTube, some smartphone reviewers have been made celebrities in their own right. Smartphones are only getting more popular with low-cost, high-performance options such as the Nexus 5 and Sony Xperia Z Compact. And in addition to this, so-called developing nations are absolutely loving smartphones. India has the fastest growing smartphone market in the world. It's all pretty interesting stuff and it's really only just been taking off in the last year or so. Number three. Smartphones are actually slowly changing the world. In 2014, mobile traffic is almost 15% of the continent of Africa's data use. In Egypt, 70% of people say they don't even touch desktop or laptops to access the web. They only use mobile. In May 2012, a study from the University of Colorado found that the average person belonging to Generation Y has their phones with them 91% of the day, and they're very likely to use their phones to meet up with each other, settle arguments, or solve unexpected problems. Generation Y and Z, basically my generation, has grown up with the internet, and the smartphone was basically the next logical step. Some say that it's making this generation less social, but that's really up to the individual. In addition to this, smartphones have made colossal dents in the sales of point-and-shoot cameras, camcorders, newspapers, print media in general, netbooks, portable gaming systems, MP3 players, and basically most things you can think of. Now of course, the smartphone wouldn't have been able to do this by itself. It's the smartphone plus the collective knowledge of everyone through the internet that has caused this shift. To really see how integral the internet has become in modern society today, here's an interesting bit of insight. The following clip is from a 2013 BBC documentary that takes a rare look into the university life of North Koreans. I found the following extract to be very interesting. American lecturer Erin Fink invites me to talk to her students. Who's heard of Michael Jackson? Put your hand up. You know who that is? No. Michael Jackson? Michael Jackson. 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 No, he's not the president, no. He's Michael, Michael Jackson. He was a very famous singer. Normally, if you didn't know who someone was, you could just Google it or search it up. Without the internet, this is not an option. Number two. Your smartphone is more powerful than you think. This one will blow your mind. For this fact, we have to go back on a journey through time and space, like we often do on this channel. So, the year is 1946, and on this year, the first ever general purpose fully electronic computer was created. Its name was ENIAC. The ENIAC computer took up an entire room and required colossal amounts of energy just to complete 
385 calculations per second. Fast forward to last year, so 2013, and the Snapdragon 800 chip that is not uncommon in most smartphones can do 28 billion calculations per second. In other words, it would take 72 million ENIAC computers just to make up the power of one smartphone chip. Let's push this fact a little bit further. That's over 2 billion tons of ENIAC computer components, and you don't even want to guess how much space this would take up. All practicality aside, if you could place all of these ENIAC computers back to back and as close as you could possibly get them, all the components together would take up a landmass of how big? Maybe you would guess a football stadium, or maybe a small city. Not even close. To have the equivalent power of one smartphone chip, it would take 11.8 million square kilometers of ENIAC computer components. That's 20% larger than the entire area of the United States of America. And all of that now can fit on your fingernail. It's definitely something to think about. Number one. By definition, your smartphone is a PC. PC is the acronym for personal computer and the smartphone has come a long way even since 2010. Here, let me show you. This is a stock smartphone running Android. You can plug it into a monitor with a keyboard and mouse and you can actually do some work with it. Hypothetically, if your desktop computer was unaccessible for one reason or another, maybe it was broken or in repair, you could use your phone to get some actual productivity tasks done comfortably. And that's not all. Nowadays, if you have an Android phone, you can stick USB sticks in there and even some hardware things such as fans work. And with that, that rounds out the top five mind-blowing facts about your smartphone. So I understand that this was a whole lot of mind blow to take in just for one video. So let's do a bit of a recap. NASA has used smartphones as low-cost satellites. The smartphone industry is the fastest growing industry in history. Smartphones are changing society. Today's smartphones are over 70 million times faster than the first electronic computer. Not to mention that it would take an area 20% larger than the entire USA to have that equivalent power. And lastly, today's smartphone can be used as a PC. Hey guys, the Gogo here, the creator, editor and uh, script writer and all that of that video and of course this channel. And uh, I just want to thank you for watching the whole way through, you know, uh, the modern attention span is decreasing so it's quite sad. But um, thanks for watching and uh, you know, fact is often stranger than fiction as they say. So uh, you may have found one or two facts in there that you found interesting. And if you did, uh, don't, well, feel free to pass along to one of your friends uh, and blow their minds too because really... Um, uh, the world we live in nowadays is actually changing quite rapidly and no one's really documenting what's happening at the moment So, you know, I thought I might be a little bit of a pioneer or something like that and try and do this kind of uh, New cutting-edge kind of documentary kind of thing. So anyway, uh, yeah, and that's enough of my rambling um, Thanks for watching and uh, until next time I shall see you soon So as usual don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers guys portable video cassette and camera system everyone's been talking about. This system sold nationally for $1,249, but we're liquidating our entire inventory immediately. So we've slashed our price to just $699. Yep, $699 was the discounted price. So really, any time you wanted to shoot a video, you'd have to run around with a heavy VCR over your shoulder. It's much simpler today. In 1983, Sony finally solved this by releasing the BMC100P system. This was the first ever truly portable camcorder.